Why does Afghanistan get hit by so many powerful earthquakes? Why do entire villages vanish overnight in Herat, Khost, or the Hindu Kush? The answer lies deep under the Earth's surface, in the way tectonic plates collide and shift. In this explainer, we break down why earthquakes are so frequent in Afghanistan, the science behind tectonic activity in the region, and a look at the country's tragic history of deadly quakes. At least 800 people have been killed and 2,500 injured in the powerful earthquake that struck eastern Afghanistan, according to a Taliban government spokesperson. The United Nations in Afghanistan said it is deeply saddened by the situation, even before the death toll rose. In a statement on X, the UN said its teams are already on the ground, delivering emergency assistance and life-saving support. Our thoughts are with the affected communities, the statement added. Earthquakes are not new to Afghanistan. In June 2022, a 6.1 magnitude quake killed more than a thousand in Khost and Paktika. In 2015, another major quake killed 200 in Afghanistan and northern Pakistan. Going back further, 2002 saw another 6.1 magnitude quake, killing nearly 1,000. And in 1998, a series of quakes in the northeast claimed more than 4,500 lives. Each disaster reminds us that Afghanistan sits on one of the world's most volatile seismic zones. So, what exactly causes an earthquake? The Earth's outer shell is broken into tectonic plates, giant pieces of solid rock. These plates are always moving, slowly but constantly, driven by heat energy inside the planet. When these plates grind against each other or collide, stress builds up in the crust. At some point, the rocks snap and slip, releasing energy as seismic waves, what we feel as an earthquake. The underground point where this rupture begins is called the focus or hypocenter. The point on the Earth's surface directly above it is the epicenter. Now, why is Afghanistan so vulnerable? Because it lies at the meeting point of three tectonic giants, the Indian Plate, the Eurasian Plate, and the Arabian Plate. In the east, the Indian Plate pushes northward into Eurasia. In the west, the Arabian Plate does the same. Both plates are colliding into the Eurasian Plate, creating intense geological stress. This stress not only fuels frequent earthquakes, but also drives the rise of the Himalayas. Afghanistan's Hindu Kush mountains and the Pamir not are among the most geologically complex regions on Earth. Active fault lines like the Chaman Fault and the main Pamir thrust run across the country. These are the cracks where stress is released and quakes are born. The northward push of the Indian plate will continue for millions of years, which means Afghanistan's seismic risk isn't going away. Entire communities remain at risk of collapse with every major quake. With limited infrastructure, poor housing, and a fragile economy, Afghanistan faces one of the world's most dangerous combinations. High tectonic activity and low disaster preparedness. So the next time you hear about another quake in Afghanistan, remember, it isn't bad luck. It's geography. The collision of continents beneath Afghanistan ensures that earthquakes will remain a tragic reality. For more such deep dives and explainers, don't forget to subscribe to the Indian Express.